and we're back. Um, okay, so I'll finish. I will finish that thought, and then I'll let you talk for a bit because I feel like I've been dominating the conversation. Yeah, that's I just, okay. I've just been talking. I don't mind talking. that. But um, I was gonna say it's like one of those things where, like, you know, some celebrity gets caught having sex with a teenager, right? And oh. someone's like, "Wow, they're a pedophile," and then there's that guy who's like. Actually, they're an ophibiophile. Oh, a pedophile God. is attracted to children under blip blip blip. And I'm if you're attracted to ages blip blip Exactly. It's one of those things where it's like, you know what we meant when we call him a pedophile. You know what I mean? It's just like he had sex with someone who was underage. And the world is disgusted by a pedophile. Like, like you know, we, we've just, dis- you know, you know what we're talking about. So technically, and it's just like, what are you contributing nothing to this conversation? Get out. I hate you. Mm-hmm. Uh. All right. Mm-hmm. Now we got that rant. I also way. hate, re- I also hate reality TV. Honestly, like I, said, I don't know how to feel about it. Cause so, cause someone pointed this out. It was Wang who pointed out recently. The fact that it's like, Reality TV is so fucking fake, but they pretend it's real. And then he used the word kayfabe to describe Paris Hilton. And I'm like, oh, it's like wrestling. Fuck. And I love wrestling, and I love that kayfabe shit. It's so... You know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, you know, make no mistake. Obviously, I know wrestling is fake. Yeah, that is almost hypocritical that you Yeah, exactly. Because it's like... Cause the thing is, with wrestling, there was no qualms. I, don't pre- I never thought it was real or pretended it was real. Like, you know, it's like, you know... Okay, you know, you pretend in the sense that you imagine, you know, it, it was real, you know, wrestling isn't real, but, you know, I do like the immersive things they try to, you know, get you to suck into the world, but yeah. if that were with reality TV, it it's, was like, it's you know, theory. exactly, but with reality TV, you felt like the people who were into it, like, were like, really into it, like, this is real, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this, this is how shit actually happened. But it didn't, actually. Yeah. And it's one of those things where it's like, I hate it because they call it reality TV, but it is so manufactured and not. Dang, That's what's insulting. I almost killed it. Honestly, I think, yeah. we, I think what they need to do is they need to, they need to change things up for about what's called oh, reality yeah. TV and what's not, I think. Because I, it's one of those things where it's like, there are some things for reality TV I'd be interested in watching if they were real, you know? True. It's just one of those things where it's like, I feel so bad. Like, anytime I watch, like, Bar Rescue or Kitchen Rescue. Nightmares or something... You. There is a chance, I'm not saying any but of these shows do do this, shot. but there is a chance that someone... See? <laughs> yeah, wait, it's unraced about the Albed. Yeah, like Waka yeah. hates the Albed. Mm-hmm. And, and Yuna Luna is it. half Albed. Mm-hmm. And she just takes it. Where were yeah. the Guardians? Boom. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sir Oren's just concerned about your health. I'm not tired one bit. <laughs> he sounds like a baby. Well, I I'm am. not tired. I'm a big boy. I want to stay up. I don't need a nap. <laughs> it really is that childish, though. Mm-hmm. For all you racists out there. Jess, I got a question. I need you to do me a favor. Yeah. As well, if I can sleep. You. I want you to go bring up Walker's picture. Now look at that face. Yeah. If he was a mascot on the package of one product, what would it be? Mr. Clean. Like you could picture Waka having a cleaner. Mr. Clean, but it's called like Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude, like, whoa, are you a dude? (laughs) Whoa, you thought cleaning was for chicks? Nah, man, now it's for dudes with cleaning dude. No, no, back with Waka, because I still haven't given my opinion yet. I'm just just ripping off your commercial idea. Um, Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude. <laughs> My dad was Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Dude Cleaners. <laughs> Honestly, he just gives me friggin' like, um, what is that? Like that, uh, that, that, that cheese, the cheese wheels and the wax, like the little ones. Like, eat my cheese, yeah? Like, that's what I see. <laughs> yeah, He like, might be like the laughing cow, like he could be... Like, he could that's be the, like, the almost the green giant type character, like, just offering you cheese. Just like, cheese, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I like this. Let's go through everyone. It's definitely Maybe a hair. I, that's exactly what I thought. Boom, we're on the same page. She, she's got that intense stare, like, 
maybe I'm what? born with no, it. No, she, she's, she's cover girl. She's actually. just like, maybe I'm born with it, and maybe I was groomed since I was a child <laughs> to sacrifice my <laughs> life to kill the embodiment of all evil. <laughs> Oh okay, you God. need to riff for like a minute. I have to piss. I can't even wait. All right. Motorcycles. All right. We're gonna wait till Rob gets back from peeing, but we're gonna keep on riffing off this shit because this is hilarious. Like, what would they be in real life? But then again, Final Fantasy could totally be real life in like a thousand years. You never know. Cause I mean, we find out new shit all the time. Like, how the hell do we know that like magic per se is like not just really elevated science like alchemy or something? All right, so Orin. Or Orin is the mascot of like a <laughs> brand of like pancakes. Like I want you to picture the box, right? It's like the powdered pancakes. Protein and pancakes. Listen, and just picture it, right? And it's like it's kind of got that lumberjack log cabin design, and it's called like Grumpy Bastard Pancakes. And it's just like you know when you're a tough guy who works out hard. <laughs> And you have a bunch of stuff, and you you wake up every morning, and you take a shot of whiskey, and then you pee standing up. <laughs> We're real best And then you kiss here. your wife and tell her she's beautiful. Mm. <laughs> That's what real men do. I'm a bit cranky. I'm a bit cranky, but I love my Try wife. <laughs> I'm a bit cranky, but that's so no I make excuse. Her hand me pancakes. So that's the, I'm a little cranky, but that's yeah, no excuse to woman. mistreat your wife. <laughs> I would never hit my wife. I love Cheryl. So I wake up and I take another shot of whiskey and I make the kids fucking pancakes. <laughs> And now, my recipe is so good, my kids say they're better than my ex-wife's boyfriend's pancakes. What the hell, Rob? So... He can't just be wholesome? So now I'm selling these pancakes in store, oh, wait, and you need to buy some things you with that grumpy statement. bastards. I just realized that it's just like, I think of other non-traditional relationships as... Yeah, I know I get it, because it sounds like Not I'm bringing... wholesome. Oh, because cause the way I say That's it... That's so interesting. I think it's because it's like, it, the way it, when I bring it up, it's almost like, you know, I'm bringing up, you know... You just kind of assume that a character would like that, it's like a bad divorce. Yeah, and it well, feels like we're making an light of that. so it's like... <laughs> I mean, he wakes like, up, he takes a shot of whiskey, then he goes and he, like, He's standing makes, up, and he, then... He's standing up, he goes to the kitchen, he wife. gets all the fucking, like... Takes he another shot. Wife, this guy's got, this guy the ingredients out for pancakes, then he takes a shot of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> like the man took two shots of whiskey within a half oh, an hour. Oh, here's what just imagine this. He like, here's here's totally what he fucking does. Here's what he totally does. I picture him just like taking like a um, he takes like a glass of like ice and then he pours some whiskey in it and then he pours in like a thing of like syrup and he like stirs it up. Are you bartending? Takes a bit of syrup. He kind of rims the glass with it. Then he like takes like oh, a bit of his fancy. pancake. He takes his little pancake and he kind of uh, and he kind of rubs the pancake powder around the rim of the um. Because I mean, just because y'all make the it rim fancy of the, doesn't uh, mean that you're not drinking of the shot glass. Pour, you know, not even a shot glass. It's gonna be a whiskey a glass. Pours it in the whiskey glass and uh, drinks it. <sighs> Okay. Zootopia what? fan fiction. Yeah. What made that? <laughs> okay, definitely a lion. Yes. And a wa what has what has a horn like that? A narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my my. <laughs> <laughs> a commercial on, <laughs> at, at, in Zootopia about the n interspecies of narwhals <laughs> and lions. 
And I can't wait to hear more about your Zootopia fanfiction next, next time, babies. Bye. Bye. <laughs>